Our steam locomotive, an attached tender, were purchased in 1966 from the Wabash Sand and Gravel Company in Terre Haute, Indiana. It was built by the Chicago, Milwaukee, St. Paul, and Pacific Railroad shops in 1908. The 1908 model, 060 switch engine, number 1416 model, runs on coal. They are not intended to pull a large number of cars on the main line. Switching locomotives don't have the smaller pilot or lead wheels on the front of the engine or trailing wheels under the cab. The driving wheels on our locomotive are smaller than the ones found on engines that would pull passenger or freight trains on the main tracks. Our locomotive is believed to be the last of its type in existence. The train arrived the weekend of April 1st and 2nd, 1967. Hundreds of people were on hand to watch the train move down Riverside Drive. An all-volunteer force used sections of portable track to move the train the length of Riverside Drive to its new home in front of the pagoda. The train was at the pagoda until its move to our current location in 1996. The whistle on the train is blown by the engineer to communicate or give instructions. One such whistle to alert people is when the train is approaching a railroad crossing. Two longs, one short, one long. The bell on the train is used to communicate too. It's used to warn people near the train that the train is moving or about to move. The steam dome is in the middle. In far front and back are the sand domes. Sand is used to improve traction by spreading the sand on the track in front of the wheels. There are sandboxes on each end of the locomotive, which allows sand to be spread in front of the wheels in either direction. This is the cab of our steam locomotive. It is where the engineer and the fireman have seats. The engineer is on the right side and the fireman on the left. From this side of the cab, the engineer watches the track and runs the engine. The long horizontal lever is the throttle. It's like a gas pedal on a car. There are two types of brakes. The lower brake handle applies the brakes to the engine only. The upper handle applies the brakes on the cars. Another control that the engineer would use is the reverser, sometimes called the Johnson bar. It's like a gear shift. The reverser handle is used to control the direction the engine travels, forward, reverse, and neutral. Move it forward and the engine moves forward. Back, the engine is in reverse. On the other side of the cab is where the fireman would be seated. His job is to tend the fire and the boiler. The fireman's job is to shovel coal into the firebox when needed. The butterfly doors are normally closed and opened when adding coal to the firebox. The steam pressure gauge is the large gauge at the top. The fireman will watch the steam gauge to know when it's necessary to add more coal to the firebox. The tender, or coal car, was purchased at the same time as the steam locomotive in 1966. The tender car holds fuel, coal, and water. The coal bin is surrounded by a U-shaped water tank. The fireman is ringing the bell to let everyone know that the train is getting ready to move. Thank you for visiting with us today.